Hey yo, ho, ho. This is Nerdcore Dave at Nerdcore Central. It's in a secret work workshop deep in the heart of the North Pole. Yo, ho, ho. Hey guys, today we're gonna take a look at some of my uh, Christmas comics. But uh, something I wanted to show you right here is um, how I place uh, some comics underneath the glass of my coffee table and it kind of presses them out, I guess. But they're cool for display and they're still protected because um, they're under the glass. But anyways, there's a, one of my Christmas comics right there. It's a bunch of reprints of old Marvel stories, holiday stories. But um, anyways, um, yeah, let's take a look at some of these Christmas comics. I'm going to kind of burn through them. Um, so let's take a look here at Creepy number 86. Uh, Todd sent, got that for me for Christmas a couple years ago. And um, that's a badass cover. I know there's a couple other ones that Creepy has as well. Um, I hope to get it at some point. But there you go on that guy. And then you guys saw earlier uh, this month I picked this up in the back issue bin. Old DC Christmas with the superheroes. As you could tell, when, uh, when I'm buying these um, Christmas uh, comics, I really don't care about the condition. Hell, I think it gives it a little bit of personality. So, um, I just kind of want them for the uh, effect. Um, and that's what it is. Oh, hey, let's check these guys out real quick, too. Um, here's a cool, cool, bigger guys. Vampire Christmas by Joseph Michael Linzer. Boom. Badass, creepy Christmas story. Uh, this I picked up a while back. It's uh, the night before Christmas with the mask. It's hard, hard back. And uh, one of the things I keep laying around the house as well, in addition to that other Marvel Holiday special, is the last Christmas uh, cool um, Santa versus zombie story. Morbid and violent as hell. Brian Posehn, comedian Brian Posehn, had something to do with that. He helped write it, so um, that's cool. Um, and then let's check these guys out real quick. You know, um, I keep uh, some frame comics around. And... Um, Let's check this out. This is uh, says, Dear Superman, I know you probably got a lot of requests for help, but you are my last hope. My father is dying, and the doctors say they can't help him. But you can do anything. You can save his life. Please help. Love, little Robbie. Ah, Morbid as hell, right? Yeah, you ain't seen nothing yet. Let's check these out. Here's a... Uh, now, when I started doing this, I just picked out a few uh, crazy uh, comics and framed them up and used them for decoration but um I increasingly progressed and I'm not even sure how I got caught up in this um I know Todd had a lot to do with it because I showed him these crazy covers and then he just started picking up out of the dollar bins the comics and next thing I know I was doing it and now I have a uh Christmas comic collection hey at the end of this video guys I'll have to show you the ones I have hung on the wall as well I know you've seen them in my videos but I don't think you've had close-ups of them so we'll take the gander at that as well that was an old classic McFarlane. That was one of my favorites right there. Badass Santa. Beating shit up. So yeah, that is it for my framed ones for now. But let's take a look. And we'll, you know what, we're gonna start with this year's uh, comic goodness. And we're just gonna plow through this. And hey guys, I hope uh, you ate enough fiber last night that Mr. Hanky visited you today and um, brought you lots of Christmas spirit, Heidi Ho. All right, damn, we're gonna get this. I swear to God, I promise you we're gonna get this. So this is that art germ cover for Catwoman number six that just came out. You guys can witness the awesomeness on that. And then, let's see, boom, Grim Fairy Tales Holiday 2018. You know, I picked that up at that con. Classic Hulk cover, Hulk 378, beating the shit out of Santa. This is another this year dilly, the X-Men, Merry X-Men Holiday Special. Evil Dead, uh, Deadite Christmas, I think that's a one shot. 2004 Marvel Holiday Special, sweet artwork on that, I believe it's Alex Ross. Classic DC Comics Presents, teaming up with Santa. Old X-Men cover, hey guys, I don't have it shown, but I do have that X-Men, um, Uncanny X-Men with, um, Kitty Pride. I think it's like number one... 63, I want to say. It's Christmas against the brood, I believe. Hey, kitty, I hear, I hear a cat squeaking. Um, now, guys, here's some gold right here. If you see these, Punisher actually has a few of these uh, holiday specials. Let's check them out. Oh, 
ho, ho. Um, Archie, Archie's got so many uh, holiday specials, guys. And um, if you keep your eyes peeled, some of them, you know, the classic Archie stuff. This is actually from 96, I believe. I don't know what a pogo is, but cool. Some more of these Archie's Christmas stocking. Hey, ladies. Some Krampus goodness in that eerie. It's a new school eerie. Happy horror days, it says. Speaking of creepy, there's that tells from unexpected. Iron Man, the ho-ho homicide one. So, I hope you guys are uh, having a good Christmas and imbibing yourselves on some eggnog and sweaty balls. Maybe you ordered your sweaty ball sack for uh, Christmas. There was time, you know. And uh, hold on, let's go to the next. Again, guys, condition on these is meaningless to me. Um, I recommend just digging through the dollar bin on these, man, and uh, you'll get a shit ton. You don't necessarily have to frame them. I put them up in these little easels. And um, place them around the house. Part of my holiday decor. Good John Byrne artwork on that one. Classic thing. There's one, another one Todd got me. That's a sweet one. Old Nick Fury with a hate monger and a Christmas ornaments. Dug that out of a dollar bin. Oh, oh, oh. All right, let's switch these out. Now here's one that always befuddles me, guys. I know I've put this up. Check this out. Well, I know Kingpin's a gangster, and I know he gets pretty extreme, but I can't tell, man. Is he for Christmas? Is that an outfit? Or is he wearing Santa's face as a dead skin mask? What the, what the hell's going on on this? We got some Ed Gein shit up in this. I don't know. JLA, twas the fight before Christmas. What the... That's actually a wraparound cover, but maybe I'll have to get a second one and put on the back. I think this came with that wizard that I showed you guys with the Simpsons. I'm not sure. It came with something. Glory. This one, I guess it's supposed to be wrapping paper. I don't know. It doesn't look super Christmassy to me. A lot of these I picked up this year out of the, the cells, like this one. Who would have thunk that uh, there would be a honeymooners? I told you these Archie comics they just kick them out man for the Christmas that's a good one I know Todd grabbed me that one too he found that in there for a quarter or something Sabrina and then here's Betty and Veronica they sure like look check it out they told him to bring a Holly he brought Holly now they're not happy women so what do we got? We got one more to go, guys. That said, we're gonna barrel through this. Here's that wolvy cover. Hey, something cool about this one. This is the first Frank Miller Batman story. So this one actually uh, accrued some value, which who'd have thunk it back in the day? I think somebody threw that in on a trade for me when I first started collecting. Couple Ren and Stimpy's. I don't know if you could see this, but it's uh, stockings has their faces on it. A bunch of superheroes. It's '94. Lots of Sergio Aragones. I didn't know who the hell Weapon Omega is, but whatever. It's a Christmas tale. The North Store's all wrapped up, and I guess we're gonna wrap that up with the uh, this year's uh, Walmart exclusive holiday special. But um, here, let's take a walk in the uh, in the nerd cave here and. Well, uh, oh, there's those little mini comics. Ooh, ooh. Ornaments. But we're going to take a walk in here and let's take a look at these uh, at the wall and uh, check them out. Now, look, this one's a great one. It's, uh, you know, these Superman covers are pretty wacky. Scan is getting ready to punch a little kid. And then we have the Lobo Paramilitary Christmas Spectacular. Yeah, yeah. There's a 
good one of uh, Santa getting shit faced and run, running over zombies. And then, of course, we have the Batman Long Halloween Joker cover. And to wrap it up, that old spectacular Spidey with uh, Santa with the gun, which I think came out around the same time as that Born Again. So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to say that uh, I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. What is it? Kwan Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa. I don't know. Ooh. And uh, I guess uh, have a Merry Christmas, and I'll catch up with you guys later. Ho, ho, ho. Nerdcore out.